Uh, right, yeah. Good stuff to use in Transistor. Uh, about a year and a half after it came out, but yeah. Shush. Right, yeah. Uh, five primaries are pretty good. Crash, the thing you get right away, this thing, uh, is generally pretty kick-ass. It's kind of fast. And yeah, if you look at the speed of that, that'll tell you how slow other things in this game are. Uh, what's so good about it? Well, when you hit someone... Well, never mind, that one died. Hit someone, it says crashed. What does crashed mean? Well, basically they're stunned and they can't do shit. And while they're crashed, you can run up and hit them again and again. So, uh, basically, if you hit someone once and they're by themselves, you can just run after them, hit them again and again and again and again until they're dead. An infinite, basically. Uh, you can use this when people are by themselves like this guy would be. Because sometimes uh, on the battlefield, other enemies will just be over here hanging by themselves. Even though you're over the opposite side of the field fucking up their teammate, they'll just be ignoring it. Uh, yeah, so you can actually use that outside of turn. And it's pretty good just by itself. And in turn, you can get like, what, four off? Yeah. Maybe five even. And uh, obviously you get backstab damage if you do it from behind, so yeah, that's good. What have I got next? Breach. This gigantic lane thing. Pretty slow to start up. Uh, I wouldn't use it outside of turn mode because people could just literally move out of the way. If you try that, they will just move to the side. What's good about it is uh, it hits in a line, so it should hit both of these guys. Yep. And uh, it also goes through walls, so instead of wasting most of your time running up to people so you can hit them with crash, you could just... Uh, Shit. How do you go backwards? Yeah, you could just like hit them with breach. Uh, it takes up a lot of turn, but you can always sneak in that last one where it doesn't look like you can. Yeah, you'll get some stuff that it's uh, breach is better as like a secondary, but at the beginning of the game, it's generally pretty decent. Next is get. Yeah. Um, you know Scorpion and Mortal Kombat? It's like that. This fires off really fast because, you know, there's Crash and I said that was relatively fast. This is super fast. You can bring everyone right up to you. Uh, the closer they are, the less damage it does. 72. See, it's doing less than 10 damage at this distance, but the guy on the right... Whoops. Whoops. Come on. Mm, killed him. A lot of damage. 17. All right, 350. No, not that one. 350 gone down to 261. That did like, uh, what, 89 damage? As opposed to the complete nothing it does when they're right next to you. And yeah, you can just uh, pull people towards you and then mash them with Crash. Which, as I mentioned before, if you pull them away from their teammates, uh, their teammates generally won't give a shit and then you can just smash them to death with the Crash Infinite. Good times. Right, uh, another good primary one is Load, which is basically the bomb. Yeah, it doesn't like tell you how much damage it does during turn mode, which isn't any use at all. But uh, with Get, you can uh, basically save yourself a shitload of time. Whoop. Okay, the other one just died. And yeah, turn. Let's hit the bomb. Yeah, load says it does 250, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's bullshit. No, I don't want to hit it in that direction. This direction. It's better. And yeah, it fucks up a whole bunch of people. Another good thing to generally use uh, in any slot is Void, which uh, weakens targets defense and attack, so uh, they'll be weaker and you can fuck them up easier. It's uh, got pretty good turn time too, you can like mash this out three times, it stacks, and it barely takes up anything, gives you enough time to get in a, uh, a load and a crash too. 
So you know that's gonna hurt them. Uh, in regular mode, I think it's really shit. Oh man. I have to wait for it to recharge now. Yeah, it's kind of slow. And uh, it only lasts several seconds. Although that stacks. And they uh, actually get physically tiny. That's nice. Uh, Void's also good in the other slots. Uh, it just gives you like uh, additional damage, like 50% additional damage if you've got it in a secondary slot and if you put it in the tertiary slot on the sides. All four of your main things get 25% extra additional damage. So, uh, yeah, if you don't intend on using it in your main set, at least use it as a backup uh, in one of the other slots. Okay, a good pair to use is Crash with Jaunt in the backup slot. This way that you can uh, actually use this uh, move that Jaunt's in the backup of during uh, the cooldown, or whatever it is, the recharge. Yeah, during that period you can't easily use uh, anything else. So I'll you know, smash Crash and then I'll press uh, Square for Get. And nothing will happen because it's recharging. But I can do Crash though. And uh... It actually comes out faster with Jordan as a backup, because without that, it came out pretty slow. See, I'll just remove it and show you how slow it was. Yeah, pretty damn slow. But stick joint on it, then you can use it as your recharge is happening. And uh, you can basically continue infinite, just run up to anyone who's alone. Blah 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 blah. Fuck them up hard. Oh, I still stunned. And now they're totally dead. So yeah, that one's super effective. If you don't want to use Jaunt with Crash, you can put Mask with Crash, uh, which gives you extra backstab damage, and considering the amount of time you can use Crash in turn, yeah. It's a next whole extra bunch of backstab damage you get in there. Because typically it does, what, 50 from the front? How much does it do from behind without that? 75, I think? So yeah, you're getting like a, an extra 18 damage there. Yeah, and it goes up to 93, so yeah, an extra 18. Decent. Don't turn your nose up at it. Another good pairing is Mask with Load in a backup slot. Um, this is just for when you're actually surrounded by a whole bunch of enemies. If you're in like a super shitty place, just go to turn, press triangle, and you'll drop the bomb. It will immediately be triggered and you'll be invisible, so you can also run away afterwards. See, it went off right away, I didn't have to do crash on top of it or anything. And then you can probably get cloaked backstab damage as well after you do that, if you feel like it. Right, another good pairing is get with breach. Breach uh, is slow in a primary slot, but gets super fast. Uh, breach goes through walls, but get doesn't. So if you add the two together, you uh, actually get something that goes twice the distance and drags people through walls to right up to your face. Look at that distance. And then you can drop a bomb on them or anything. So yeah, um, get with Breach is, I'd say, pretty much an essential thing. Look, you can't even see them, not even my field of view. Right up to me. Lovely stuff. Help with Flood is another good one, because I believe it gives the dog, like, just uh, additional damage over time. Yeah, there you go, he's just sort of like shooting lasers out of his mouth or whatever, in between the barks. So yeah, additional damage for your dog. 
And uh, it's not shitty damage either. It's like uh, 30 in between blocks. It all ends up. Decent stuff. Okay, another helpful pairing to use is help with spark, which uh, is kind of shit by itself, but as a backup, when used with help, it gives you two dogs. And now you can go and control two dogs. Whoops. Yeah, I don't know why they randomly explode in this room, but yeah, you can control the two dogs. Uh, load by itself takes up an awful amount of turn time, but if you uh, put ping in a secondary slot, it like halves the turn time, so now load really isn't that bad. Uh, it's less than half a bar, so now uh, you can essentially uh, do three, but then you can't explode them. So if you do two and then uh, basically explode them, you're laughing. Two loads, a crash. Yeah, this this guy won't be living through this. Right, yeah, I find switch generally a shitty thing because although it puts them on your side for like four seconds, they uh, just generally don't attack their teammates as much as you would once they're switched can't cause any additional damage to them, which sucks. So you're basically just taking them out of the game for a while. I mean, the damage they would cause to the enemy in a proper match is just basically fuck all. Okay, and for good passive attacks or upgrades, I've got Cull, which means you now cause damage to people just by running through them, uh, although that only does that once. Ping, uh, ping, means that just walking around doesn't eat up as much, uh, what, never mind, this is help, yeah, you have a, if you have help in a passive slot, you have a 25% chance, chance of becoming a super user, which is this witch looking thing, and then, uh, yeah, you have an attack called kill, but, uh, it doesn't kill everything, it just does 500 damage, it will kill most things. But yeah, that only pops up now and again, randomly, when you hit the turn button. Yeah, I believe it's 25% chance. So yeah, what are they saying? Alright, Breach gives you more turn time to play with, so uh, you can get in more attacks. And ping means that your walking doesn't eat up as much turn time. So you can walk longer distances and why have you. So uh, yeah. It's cool, I guess. So if you prepare Breach with, say, ping and load, you can probably get off, like, several bombs, I bet. Let me just try this. So yeah, ping out of that. Yeah, I can get off three loads and then explode them. Nice. Yeah, Creep 2.0. I got my bomb with ping, so let's do bomb with ping. It's far enough void, because fuck it, why not? Yep, yeah, those guys got dealt with pretty quickly. 